are currently the highest body of the party in the state. Um, it's weird, but true. You too, you guys? Yeah. Wow. Every time, I feel the glow. every time, I know. It's like, <laughs> we should be sitting. I should be sitting out on the outside there. That's why. That's why I dressed up. Um, um, that, yeah. Every time we have a general assembly in California uh, twice a year, and the weird thing is, when the people walk in that room, they are technically they're like Congress or something, only better. And so, so we could decide to throw this out the window and come up with new bylaws, which I don't recommend. But, um, but it means we define the election process for our own people. So, so we, can, we can do whatever we want with the, as long as it's transparent and, and good process. So, so, so my personal goal was I was hoping to come up with a list of nominees this meeting, ideally eight people or more, and but oh, and, uh, and we've got another or should be we've got another hour and a half so David pretty good. He's trying to get some people. Um, okay we have another message coming in okay let me know if you can get it working okay I just okay I'll tell her we are calling for nominees <laughs> to the state party and the bylaws call for a balance between the genders if possible. Is there anyone in LB who wishes? There's water here if anybody wants it. Oh, I have snacks in the cart, so I'll go on um, one. So I just sent her a message that says, we are calling for nominees to the state party at this time. Is there anyone in Las Vegas who wishes to speak? I have another nominee. Okay. okay. Uh, Lisa Schmidt. All right, I'm going to write down the nominees. And you know what? I'll post them right to Facebook. Uh, okay. I can post them on the party's Facebook page? Yeah, right here. Um, Okay, Reno, uh, Reno meeting has issued a call for nominees. The nominees currently are so, okay. Is this going to work? <coughs> it's currently loading. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm doing excellent. I'm David Curtis. Thank you for joining us. Did you get an agenda? This is the agenda. We are currently um, calling for nominees. So, uh, okay, so David Gibson. Make sure it's tutor or something. Looks like Julia wants to come over here. Oh, so here are um, registration forms. I've got 200 of them. And. I told the Secretary of State I would distribute them this month and next, and then I have to send back the ones I don't use. So if anyone needs to register, please feel compelled. I'm like 95% sure I'm registered green. Should I fill one out just to be Yeah, safe? you can register every month if you don't know. And, okay. just, and it just renews. Okay, so David Gibson for uh, his G-I-B-S-O-N? Yep. For which post? For co-chair, I guess. For co-chair? Okay. For, for secretary, if I have to. Co-chair? <laughs> well, we can put you down for both, and then people can pick it up. Okay, David Gibson for co-chair. Oops. Oh, I'm getting... I was trying to spell for me. Um, okay, Christina... L-A-I-S... For at large, and then she has a William Miller, 
William Miller, who I think is registered independent for at large. At large. So I think anyone could be nominated, but before they serve, they would have, you know, they'd have to register Green Party. Um, so they'd have to be thrown out, and that'd be really horrible. And, it, and there's really only two things that trigger getting thrown out. One is if you change party affiliation, and what was the other one? Breaking the bylaws. And I, we've never had anybody do the second one. And usually people just stop showing up, which is a clear signal. They, you know, they don't want to do it. All right, so we have three nominees so far. So I will post this. And then I'll, um, I'll also nominate Lisa Schmidt. Okay. And Schmidt is S-C-H-M-I-D-T. Say again, S-C-H? S-C-H-M-I-D-T. I-D-T, okay. Lisa? We're nominating people for right now. Um, we are, no, no. we are restocking the executive council of the state party. Um, the Greens lost their ballot access in 2011, and so we're trying to get it back. And so we have to restock the state party. Um, all the seats are empty, uh, except my, my own. Uh, I, was the, I was an at-large. Um, so this, the seats that are available are the two co-chairs. And ideally, one would be in the north, one would be in the south, but it's not mandatory. Ideally, one would be uh, male, one would be female, or other. Um, and then the sec secretary and treasurer positions. How do you do that? Um, just make sure. Male and female and other? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it doesn't have to be, like, they can't be all one gender or one. Okay. So it can't be all male, ideally. But, but the bylaws say, you know, if possible or something. It doesn't, it does, it's not mandatory, but we have a goal of having um, gender balance. Um, just so transgender would be at least one or the other, it wouldn't be. Yeah, it would you click both boxes? Well, trans yeah, I guess. Well, yeah, yeah, transgender I would would count for diversity because it wouldn't be. Um, yeah, it'd be awesome. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, and you should know that the purpose of this whole deal is I skipped that part. Section one: These bylaws shall govern the organization, operation, and function of the political party known as the Green Party of Nevada. Oh, by the way, I'll just say we, we recorded the part you missed, so that it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Um, the goals, section two, these are the bylaws from uh, 2010. Um, the goals of the Green Party of Nevada are to actively promote in every appropriate way the 10 key values that are the core of the green, of green philosophy. Um, those, it's really simple. I mean, the main ideas are grassroots democracy, which we don't really have too much in America. Um, ecological wisdom, uh, nonviolence, you can't beat people up. Uh, future focus, we try to plan ahead. Uh, respect for diversity, decentralization, personal and global responsibility, post patriarchal values, social justice, community based economics. So that's the party in a nutshell. And the thing is, when those 10 key values were drafted, their original intent, because we researched the origins of these, and there's a lady who sort of wrote the first book, um, they were meant as questions. Um, Marnie Glickman, the former head of this US party, called her on the phone a couple months ago, because Marnie's writing a book, and said, you know, are, are these like, are these, are these commandments? Are these like the Ten Commandments? She said, no, they were intended as questions. So when, so when, so, you know, there are always questions. They're like, well, does this make sense? Does what we're doing here today make sense in the context of this question? You know, so, so like when BP spilled a whole bunch of oil in the Gulf, you know, was that future focus, respect for diversity? You know, it kind of like broke a few of them. So, so they're like, you know, points of reference. Um, okay. Whatever. Um, okay, so we have an official person here. That's awesome. Um, okay. Oh, and then let me type in another additional. Let me see if I'll let me look at it. So we have three nominees. Okay, so the reason we're, we're doing this is as soon as we elect the new people, 
um, then they will send a letter to the Secretary of State, and that restarts the party. It's called the mod uh, continue, uh, Modification of Continuance of Existence. Excuse me, Amended Certificate of Existence. It, it has a few different names. Secretary of State calls it something slightly differently. And it's just one page, and it's, it'll say who those people are, how to get a hold of them, and then who the contact person is. And historically, it's been the secretary. And our last secretary was Craig Berkland, uh, and he resigned, I think, maybe a year or two ago. Um, so, so, and the only person on the list is, that's still here is me, David Curtis. And I'm, I was an at-large, however, I moved to California. So I'm not, you know, right now I'm here in the role of facilitator, and I'm I'm a I'm a representative of the of the of California party and the and the and the, and the U.S. party. So let me see if I got this right. Existence is different from ballot access. Yes. Okay. So yeah. so we're not mm -hmm. the only way we're going to get that back again is to exceed one percent. We are currently recognized by the Secretary of State as a minor party. We are a non-balloted. Uh, minor party. However, the counties were so sick of dealing with all the minor parties that they've lumped us into other. So, so we're barely holding on as far as being officially recognized. And and there's many layers to this. Um, our relationship to the Green Party of the U.S. They recently voted two months ago to put us on temporary uh, temporary inactive status, which they're willing to lift in a moment as soon as we have new people. So, but as far as, um, we, we are still recognized by the Secretary of State. I'm in direct contact with him. He likes us. And all we have to do is fill the seats, send him a letter. And then we, we are, we'll be recognized as a minor party uh, for another election cycle. Um, then the ballot access is the next hurdle. To get ballot access, we currently have about 4,108 people registered green. Do we have more than that, actually? You just don't know? No, those are the confirmed. That's hard. That's, that's a hard actually, number. Hard. I pulled right. the list December of 2012. That's as of, that's as of 2012. That's from the voter registration office? Yeah, okay. Secretary of State gave me the data. Uh, okay. I, 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 have a, I can pull the file. And, and it's, it's 4,108. Okay. And um, we need to be about seven to 8,000. I keep saying we. The, the Greens of Nevada need to be seven to 8,000, and then they'll have the 1% threshold. Um, they could do that. Yeah. Now, let's say somebody wants to run for sheriff or something tomorrow. I'll twist my As a Green, <laughs> they can do it. But they've got to go out and get a whole bunch of signatures. Right. Mm -hmm. when, when I ran for governor, I only had to get 300. If you ran for governor today, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you, you need 78,000 signatures. And then extra ones because they, they will sit and challenge the signatures. Right. Um, so so that's, that's where we're at. Um, so ideally, we restart the party, send them a letter. Then <coughs> register about 3,000 people, and guess what? We could do it in a week if all 4,000 people went to their neighbor and said, hey, register. So, so we could be re-ballot access really quick. Do we have a mailing list or some way of contacting all those 4,000 yes. people? Yes, we do. Yeah. I've got it on this thing right here. Um, I, I, I purged the Clark County people off and sent, um, sent Chris all the other counties. So he, he has a duplicate copy of the data file from, from December 2012. Uh, but this one has everybody's name on it. Sadly, when I was making the phone calls to invite people here today, um, I was making annotation on like the first thousand. And then I did a save as to send you your thing. And I lost all my annotation. So that means I have to call the first thousand again. And confirm that it's a working number, and say whether it's who it is or not. So, but the second 
2,000 through 4,000 are confirmed. We know they're there. We're not there. But the first 1,000 people I have to reconfirm. Or somebody else can do it. Did you call 4,000 people yourself? Um, of the 4,108, we only have phone numbers for approximately 10 to 20 percent. Because when people register to vote, they just leave it blank. Or they write down the wrong number, or they change the number. So we have about 10, we have about 1,000 phone numbers. And when we were calling, we found that the majority of those numbers were no longer functioning. So we have maybe 500 to 1,000 good phone numbers. We, we have something like 2,000 to 3,000 good addresses, maybe. Maybe. It's mostly junk, what you get. But it was enough to get you know, some people at the meeting. And, um, and that's a real problem is because um, the data changes so frequently in Nevada. People change their, cell, their numbers, their telephone numbers frequently. Um, with the economy being so poor since 2008, they were changing their physical address frequently or not even having a physical address. Um, so, so the database is very suspect. Um, and so if we were registering new Green Party members, would could we have them in addition to this? Could we have them fill out a separate form so we have like their phone number and email and That's stuff a like that? Great question. Because I feel like email is probably a more stat for most people is more static than phone number or mm -hmm. physical address. Here's what we do in California because California is in the same boat. We have over one percent, but just barely. Mm -hmm. So we're we're trying to keep our access also. <coughs> so what we do is we go out um, we go out on the weekends and we register people. Uh, in, in about 20 counties, and we have them fill this out, and then uh, we take it home, and we have three days to give it to the registrar. Right. So I scan them into my computer. So I have a copy of everybody we're registering in California. Well, in Marin, I should say. I'm only in Marin County. Um, that's how we're keeping track. So, and then uh, Marnie Glickman enters those numbers into a database. So, so then I'm also requesting databases from secretaries of states every year just to keep it. But, but that is mostly junk. The, the data you get is mostly not usable. Well, that doesn't ask for an email address. Oh, um, I was curious if you can ask for additional information. Oh, for I see. Yeah, California has asked for an email. Um, yes, you can. You can. Here's the strategy. Um, and, and there's a, what I'll do is I'll send you a link. We have done a training video that one of the head Democratic organizers did a training session for us in Oakland and taught us how to register voters. And I'll, I'll send you the link. It's on the Green Party of California website. Um, what he does is he goes through each thing and makes sure that it's filled out right. And then and he said, hey, you know, can I have an email or a phone number just in case I get back and we, we realize we didn't do something right, I need to call you. And then people will frequently give him their, their business card or something. So it's, it's real good to just go, you know, go that extra step. In California, the, the stuff they have to fill out is this long. Uh, so Nevada is like ahead of California in minimizing the pain. Um, and I think you also have online registration it's now. It's super easy to change it. Yeah. The downside is when you click Green Party, it throws you into other. That's the problem. So, so Nevada currently has a branding problem. It's like we're Coke, but they're just calling us soda. Yeah, it's the same thing. Does that thing have to be an independent party also? It, it happens to the non ballot accredited parties. So, American Independence good to go, as far as I know. Uh, libertarians are good to go, and Democrats, Republicans, and maybe somebody else. I don't know. Yeah, there's only four in the party. Yeah. Reform parties trying to get on, but they're they're worse off than we are because they're they're mired. Their organizer told me they are mired in lawsuits, so it could, because of the presidential run. Um, all right. Oh, let me type in the other um, candidate. Okay, Lisa. He says Schmidt for. She said when I asked her what position she'd like to run for, I, she said treasurer question mark. Okay. So. All right, works for me. 
And these are just placeholders because this is not an election. We're just collecting some nominees. If I could type it. Lisa. Lisa Schmidt. Who did you guys nominate before I met you? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's what I was going to ask. Okay. <laughs> I, will. I know. I was honking at you guys to leave the door open for me. I was sitting down there. Yeah. Okay. So the you're current you're nominees. Or so the current um, nominees are um, William Miller, who I believe is a, an independent. or he's, He said he's nonpartisan, I think. But he said he always votes green. I'm like, well, we don't have any candidates, so I don't know what that means. So currently he needs Ralph to Nader. change. <laughs> Back in 2000, 2000 you voted Ralph Nader. Um, okay, it's locked. No, some people do that every time. <laughs> well, I voted, you know, I voted for Ralph Nader in 2008, but I, it was, I flipped a coin between Cynthia McKinney and Ralph Nader. I literally, in the booth, flipped a coin. Because, you know, I, I was Green Party, but I, I love Ralph, and I'm like, I flipped yeah. a coin and got Ralph, so I was really happy. And we can't do it, right? We can't do it. And yeah. Cynthia McKinney is still my friend. So it, it all worked out. Okay, so we have William Miller for at-large, Christina uh, Lai, L-A-I-S, I don't know how to pronounce her name, for at-large, David Gibson for co-chair, Leisha Schmidt for treasurer. Do we have anyone from Vegas? Um, yes, uh, William Miller and Christina Lai are both from Vegas. Okay. So we have gender balance and we have geographic balance. It's looking really good, folks. For a white party. <laughs> we we have we don't currently have color balance. No. Doesn't seem but my video It's not a white party, it's a green party. Yeah. It's a <laughs> huge <laughs> problem. Show me. Show me. We, we have a problem with that it's um I think the biggest problem even before race is money. Mm -hmm. Money is the problem. Um it's impossible to run. I'll just give you a brief recap of the twenty ten election. Um, the fellows I ran against uh, spent millions of dollars. I spent 7000 something. I spent 7500 I was planning and hoping to spend about 100000 But when you run as a green, uh, you just, there's just no money. Nobody gives you money. So We're all broke. Yeah. <laughs> well, in, well, people don't want to waste their vote, but they really don't want to waste their money. Mm -hmm. You know, they might waste their vote because, you know, the elections are rigged. Um, but they don't want to waste their money. So, I don't blame You said there's two co-chairs? Reload. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the positions are two co-chairs. Ideally, one in the north, one in the south. A treasurer, a secretary, and four at-large. And I, I liked the at-large position because you can do whatever you want. And it, it, you're like a free agent. You're roaming around causing trouble. And, and bringing people to the party. That's the. I that's the. Katie for that I was gonna say I'll nominate you and you can nominate me. Deal. That's I'll how we roll right. anyway. All right. So. Okay. <laughs> sounds like what, what we do. That's yeah. yeah. a yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can have more yeah. nominees than we need. Yeah. That's not a problem. Let me. Right. My computer locks. Well, like it's drowny. It's <laughs> kind of like union president. That's what I already do. Everybody else is doing. Okay, so I need. So if you state your name and then what your position that you're being nominated for. Oh, I have your name. I didn't write on that yet. I should put my name on that. Yeah, name and email address is golden. So that's Katie Collins, and I'm nominating over there. Yeah, if we can have more than eight nominees coming out of this list, it's like we just created a really good thing. Do they have any additional nominees down there? Let me see here. Or can we peer pressure them? Peer pressure them via Facebook. <laughs> My thing keeps locking up. I am a I am a PC person on a Mac. And it's uh, okay. Alicia Schmidt for treasurer. Post it. Come on. Okay. So, okay. So this additional nominees are Katie. Colleen. Colleen for. At large. At large. Yeah, at large is a good one. I, I was never a co chair, I was always at large. Um, and Julia Hammett? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have, I have seen your name. You probably have. It's H A M E T T. 
for you usually police. find it in the police for at large dogs. Exactly, I was thinking <laughs> on the concept. I think it was on the database technically. It could be the data, it could be out there. Oh, it's already registered. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll leave this page. I'll come back. It's the only way I could handle voting for Obama was to be registered as a green. Otherwise, I was going to have to abstain from the whole the that's farce. A, that's a coin toss. It depends on that really. Well, we couldn't vote probably, for a green candidate. But I told Obama I would vote for him if he switched to the Green Party. <laughs> Did I, you? I sent him a letter. <laughs> I said, I like you. You're smart. You're great. If you switch to green, I'll vote for you. If you get rid of drones. He didn't respond, but he sent me some helpers. Um, yeah, it just keeps locking up. Let me close out of YouTube and maybe that'll help us. Okay, so we've covered, we're, we're still in the nomination phase, but we only have, oh, we have an hour left. So we're in good, really good shape. Um, and, then, and so if we're doing the online voting, will there be time for additional nominees? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, I, I know I know people down in Las Vegas that we could potentially nominate if you want to have well, more of a Well, we balance. have to decide that right now. We have to decide if it's okay to get additional nominees, and I, I think it probably is. I think the main requirement for a nominee is they actually want to do it. They want to show up and do it, and they're registered with the party. And they're not pretending to be registered with the party. So that one person you said isn't registered yet, right? Yeah, he's going to have to. He can be a nominee. Uh, and the bylaws say, the bylaws say anybody can be in this meeting as long as they agree with the ten, whatever they are, the ten key values, which I read off. And they're pretty agreeable. Uh, I can read them again. So, so the bylaws say you're supposed to write an oath that you agree with those things. But we're sort of dispensing with that part. Hold up your right hand. I think it's cheesy. <laughs> yeah, we could swear. But I, I'm just assuming that everyone agrees with grassroots democracy, ecological wisdom, nonviolence, future focus, respect for diversity, decentralization, personal global responsibility, post patriarchal values. That's a huge one. Social justice and community based economics. I mean, is there anyone who has a problem with any of those? <laughs> what exactly are post-patriarchal, is that, we're, we're moving into ma matriarchal values? No. Well, That's actually, that would be non No, so just non We've yeah. inherited so much structure that was created from a male-dominated system. Right, okay. And yeah. thought processes yeah. and everything. Even, like, so the concept of marriage. So moving into a neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Inclusive. Right. Yeah. So okay. non I used to I used to actually bias. say I I used to say instead of post patriarchal values I, I used to say gender neutral, gender that's, neutral. That's yeah. better. That, that, that explains better. things better than post patriarchal. Yeah, gender neutral. That that's what it, because yeah. you know what like they used to say in California and on the GPUS it used to say feminism, which is even more loaded word right. because it implies one is other. Um, Only if you don't know what it means. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but I, I, instead of feminism, when I was new to the party, I was like, oh, I don't, you know, that word is problematic. I know what it means, but the words is a problem for some people. And I think right. patriarchal is a it, patriarchal is such is, is such a loaded word. So, so I think gender neutrality is like an easy way to solve it. But I don't. But we would have to say once the guys and gals are elected, um, they could change that word. <laughs> so that's just in the Nevada, old Nevada version, or is that the this, national? This is the Nevada bylaws okay. that are on file with the Secretary of State. You said that was one of the ones from 2005? Yes, they were drafted. So we they, were, they were approved in 2005 and, and re reaffirmed in 2010. And they're on. They're put. If you go to the Secretary of State website under uh, minor parties, this is the document. You get the PDF, and this is it. This is the paper version of the PDF. And so this is this is these are all the rules. These four pages are the whole rules. Um, all right. Um, 
So we're good to go. I think um, I, I think, think we I should. I think I have another nominee. Okay, it's still locked up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of this page. I'm working on confirming what she wants to run for. Okay. Yeah, I think what I can do is if if we all agree, um, we can extend this nominee process beyond the meeting. And we, we do that routinely in California. So we initiate the process in the meeting, and then we extend it for some period beyond the meeting. And, and I, I think it would be good to extend it for some number of days. In principle, I totally agree with what you're mm -hmm. saying, but in this particular situation, mm -hmm. where we really don't have anybody in place, mm -hmm. it's almost like we need somebody, at least in a temporary, mm -hmm to carry it through even if we yes. stand it right because yeah you're, currently you're, our you're legal like, structure <laughs> currently our legal structure Sorry, okay thanks yeah for yeah nice to meet you guys right. you have to contact Keep me in the loop too. okay do you have a business right. card or contact yeah. info uh when's the voting do you want to be nominated for something before you no, 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 no right no, now but that's definitely more in the loop oh there's like a period of time yep yep okay. but that's smart nice to meet you too that's what my brother's saying well, voting starts tomorrow. tomorrow through the yes. end of the month. Um, David, but can't it's it's that's it's assuming we have so sufficient nice nominees. Okay. We are we are only obligated to elect a portion of the body. Um, we do not have to elect the whole body, but it sure would be helpful. And and as far as our legal st uh, standing, um, I am a sitting at-large member legally. Okay. However, my jurisdiction has changed to California and I notified the Secretary of State. So I am currently the official, as official as it gets, facilitator. And so I sent a letter to the Secretary of State, Do I, I think I have it, um, and I said, hey, we had four nominees back in June. All of those nominees are now a no-show for this meeting. They, they have since uh, decided not to participate. Um, and so I sent the, the list of nominees to the Secretary of State. Let me try to find the uh, letter. It's online. I can point it to you after the meeting. Um, and I said, here are the four people, and we have not had an election yet. As soon as we have an election, we will reissue the modified um, amended certificate of existence. So his office is just waiting to hear from us. Okay. And as soon as we send this piece of paper, um, they will stick a stamp on it and post it to the website. Then the, then the group exists again. It, it currently exists, but it's kind of in limbo. Right. Um, because the officers are missing in action. Um, Craig Berglund, contacted me two days ago and uh, so he he's around but he he resigned as treasurer or uh, excuse me as secretary so he was the last official spokesperson for the party he the secretary is the one who sends this letter to the secretary of state so so and you said we need eight in order to do the election yeah ideally eight, eight. Ideally, eight people. So four officers, four, four um, at large. And how many do we have? Sorry, we I didn't currently have, I believe, six. What's missing? What two? One of the co-chairs is missing, and the treasurer. I thought we nominated Lisa for treasurer. Oh. Secretary. So, I'm sorry, secretary. Secretary. Yeah, I don't know. This thing just keeps locking up. David make it great. So. Well, let me just check something here because I don't know if you have to be registered Green Party of Nevada or it can be registered Green Party. Um, let me just check something. Here. And I have another nominee for at large. Maybe I could convince her to go for Who's that? Or co chair. Um, Liz, Liz Shop. She works with me at Environmental. Okay, Liz Shop. Push her yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I think I could point you to do that. That sounds like order. Okay. Well, that's for the. Uh, 
Please give us your All right, if I can get this to quit locking up where we will, okay, here we go. Events, I'll type in the new names. So Liz Shaw's a maybe. She's definitely willing to go for at large and I'm working on her for secretary. I didn't tell her about the huge responsibility of sending an email to the Secretary of State, but yeah. I could probably compose that for her and send it yeah. to her email. Well, it's a little trickier than that. It, it, the last time we did it, we sent a certified copy of the letter, and we also sent it via email. Mm -hmm. So the letter has to be certified mail. Uh, it's not official if it's not sent certified mail. It's unofficial. But yeah, you Is know what? By a notary? You know what? So I bet the letter I sent last time I didn't send certified. That's why he didn't post it. Because I sent um, the last one I sent was, "Hey, we're waiting to have an election." So for the sake of argument, we send it a week, then what happens? Do you close the nominations and then we kind of like on an email level or something? Or Yeah, what I was planning to do is I was going to set up a voting page online. Okay. And then everybody votes. And you have to be a registered green to vote. How are we going to let everybody know? Just mm -hmm. you, all you can do is let the people know you know. Mm -hmm. Leave it there yeah. for now. The bylaws say you have to... The bylaws say... You have to notice this meeting as widely as possible. So we went through the database of all 4,000 people and attempted to contact as many as we could. And we contacted somewhere between 500 and 1,000 people. And then, For this meeting? Yeah. I just saw the Facebook thing mm -hmm. like at 6.15. Yes. That you Plus, <laughs> in addition to physically calling the Greens, we created the Facebook events. Yeah. Which is like publicly posting, yeah. but it's better to post pieces of paper around. 